Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Trainer Red's team. We're going to switch it out here and there. I'm going to be using more of the Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard as well as the Snorlax. Now obviously Pikachu is going to be a little bit of a, an issue uh, if you would say that in the Go Battle League because of its low CP and it's just not, it's not meta, not even close. But what we're going to do is use our level 40 Pikachu Libre that we did get when we hit rank 10. So we'll um, <laughs> see what we can do. But with that said, please hit that like button if you do enjoy these battle videos and uh, have a few things to talk about before we get into the commentary. That's Pokemon Direct. I did not watch everything. I watched a couple uh, Pokemon Legends, saw it when I got up, and then um, Pokemon Snap as well as Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. Are you kidding me, guys? This is freaking insane. Now, I see some people saying that they don't like the Legends. I'm not going to get too deep into that right now. Honestly, I, I think it's fun. I, I like the fact that it's calm. <laughs> I would get into the main series games and make a team, but what happens there is I become obsessive compulsive big time, and I don't stop. You're going to see a massive decrease in uploads, and I'm just going to uh, try to perfect my team until that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, with that said, I'm excited for all that stuff. Looking good. And uh, let's go ahead and get into commentary. Hope everybody's having a fantastic morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. So we're going to be met with a Dragonair here. And like I said, well, I'm going to be using Snorlax quite a bit. It's just a fantastic lead with the uh, Charizard and Venusaur paired up with it in case we run into a fighter. We have those two uh, safe swap to some degree. We're going to be using Charizard with Overheat, folks. That's the little fun caveat, a little bit of a twist in this video, I suppose, to uh, give it a, a bit of a different uh, feel, I suppose, to your traditional Charizard with Blast Burn. It works pretty good. I'm going to be using Dragon Breath, Fire Spin, Overheat, different combination Charizards here. Uh, so... Uh, Shadow Venusaur, as we know, it just hits like a truck. This thing is just disgusting strong, but it really can't take a hit from its weaknesses, uh, as you may know. So we're going to go ahead and swap into this Charizard here. And Lapras is going to make one appearance. <laughs> it's just, it's good. We all know Lapras is great. I just, using Snorlax and and um, Lapras and uh, Charizard. I mean, for instance, if I was to use Venusaur, Lapras, and Charizard, I mean, Hypno with Confusion and Thunder Punch is going to just wreck the team, right? But anyways, with that said, uh, going on here up against this uh, Seeking, able to get to another <laughs> Dragon Claw here and take out the Seeking and take the win with the Charizard. Barely. Very nice. Looking good. Into the next battle here, starting it off with Snorlax. We're met with an Alolan Marowak here. Fantastic. They're going to be swapping into a Wigglytuff, and we're going to go right into that Shadow Venusaur. Now, unfortunately for the Shadow Venusaur up against this matchup here, yeah, if you get a move through, sure, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, and you could you could come out of here with, you know, grabbing both shields if they so choose to, but see, they're going to be able to charm you down even though the, you're resisting it <laughs> because Shadow's just that stinking squishy. So they're going to be coming in here and farming me down with that Pidgeot. Not in the best position. Uh, Snorlax's lick is not very effective. So we're just going to go ahead and go in here with the Dragon Breath Charizard here and try to recover this battle. Holding on to one shield left and same with them. Building up a bunch of energy. As you can see, we do have that overheat, which is going to come in handy a few different times. Just wanted to use something different. I mean, this is Kanto Cup without points. I mean, there's no need to like try hard i love how the sky turns dark after that win there <laughs> it's always so funny when that happens into the next battle here met with a blastoise with our shadow snorlax as well as the venusaur and charizard in the back so hey i'll take it so we're gonna go ahead and go with that body slam here now my only concern was the fact that they were building up to some sort of skull bash because that's a lot of energy right so we got to take that risk if they bring their defense up a you know a raised defense Blastoise is not any joke. But what I could do is just, you know, if they did Skull Bash, I'd go in here and farm down with the uh, Venusaur. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to use one shield and come out with some energy. So we are going to be shielding this up, expecting an Ice Beam because we did not get hit by a Skull Bash. And that's exactly what they threw at me here. And we have a pretty good amount of health. They are swapping into Muck. We're going to go ahead and go into our Charizard. And they're going into Wigglytuff. Now, this is just horrible, horrible, horrible. Our Dragon Breath is resisted. Our Dragon Claws resisted. I could have went for overheat. Look at that. Look at that. I could have went for overheat and just smashed them out. And if you're thinking, well, Venusaur up against Muck, not too good. 
Have you seen the Frenzy Plant damage? There you go. Overheat. Taking him out. Let's get it. Let's go. And we're able to get to the Dragon Claw. They are going to kind of be forced to shield this. No? Okay. That sounds fine to me. Venusaur, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You resist grass? I mean, sure, you resist grass, but this is not normal grass. This is some potent, potent grass. <laughs> So we're going to uh, take the Dark Pulse, not shielding up, calling it, and getting to another Frenzy Plant and taking the win up against an Alolan Muck with the Shadow Venusaur. Let's go. Gotta love it. All right, folks, into the next battle. We're going to be starting it off with Venusaur. We're met with a Lapras. Ice Shards is absolutely a deadly thing, but it looks like it has Frost Breath. So, you know, not, you know. Well, why would people run that? Maybe they just don't have a, an Elite TM or a Legacy Lapras, because that is a Legacy move, by the way. So, nonetheless, it doesn't matter. That that quick move is still just doing the job. Look at that. Look at that. If we get two shields, sure, that's going to be fine and dandy, but uh, yeah. All right, so we have Charizard and Blastoise in the back. We're obviously going to go in here with Blastoise. I mean, we could have went in here with Charizard, but we're going to have to use a shield. So, we're just going to go in here with Blastoise and farm down. A bit ambitious, but hey. We're, we're gonna do that anyways so uh yeah red's team here is kind of looking a little funky right we're gonna have the pikachu libre in the costume we have the shadow venusaur and we have the uh, mike tyson blastoise <laughs> and the shadow snorlax just kind of like a freak team uh, anyways we're gonna go ahead and build up farm down and go for the hydro cannon onto this hypno here I, is it just me or is that how much damage hydro cannon does to a hypno with a blastoise i was a little confused like whoa Okay, I guess the attack is not that high, but damn, Hypno, you're a tank. So in comes the Snorlax, and here we go. Uh, when shields are down, Blast Burn goes to down. So we're going to get that uh, that Body Slam shielded up, no problem, building up extra energy here. And now let's go ahead and go for this Overheat. This will KO the Snorlax, taking him out. In comes the Hypno, we dropped our attack, but it doesn't matter. This should do enough, right, right, right? Not quite. And then we take him out. Beautiful. I love this overheat Charizard. It is just a test. That's why I named it Zard Test. All right. Into the next battle, we're met with a Dragonair. Okay. Okay. No problem. So they're going to go ahead and get to that Surf before us. It's pretty weird. I need to go check the simulations. Every single battle that I've done going up against Dragonair, I've been able to get to my Body Slam first. So I, I don't know. Just something I'm missing or people are over farming or I missed like a, some quick moves here. But what? Does it matter? Going for another Aqua Tail. I'm going to go ahead and go for that Body Slam. Letting it go through. They want to shield up a farm down. Perfect. But they're letting it go through. Not wanting to use two shields, which makes sense. We have the Pikachu Libre. Do you see, folks? You see the Pikachu? Will it work? I'm going to tell you. Uh, yeah, it could have worked. There were some situations where, yes, it definitely would have helped. But these guys are just shielding it up. You know what I'm thinking? It's like, they seen the the bell sprout video they're like nah uh, uh, i'm not falling for that crap i already know it's gonna hit hard so what we're gonna do is unfortunately use it as a, a kind of sacrificial pokemon here pikachu you, you did your job you know we're trying to win here so we're gonna go in with charizard folks can we pull this off hey pikachu's on the team if pikachu's on the stinking team that doesn't mean it you know it didn't do anything it did we still have it on the team so let's go Farming down, are you kidding me? Going for overheat, will this KO? Oh yeah, will. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's take the win with the Pikachu. We're using it again. Oh yeah, folks. We're using that Pikachu again. I think it might be this battle. Maybe, let me see. Yeah, there's the Pikachu. We're using it and Charizard. So swapping into Graveler, we're like, uh, yeah, we've used that. That thing hits hard if it hits Stone Edge. So they're going for Rock Blast. So there's the first move revealed. Going for this superpower, building up to two, just about. I think we're almost to the other one. Getting a shield, swapping into Pikachu to absorb this. And let's see what happens. It's a Thunderbolt. So, wow, not very effective. Almost KO'd. Now watch this. If we would have gotten this through, we would have been looking golden. That would have done a lot of damage. If anything, it almost KO'd it. So they are shielding it up using their last shield and gaining a bunch of energy. To which I'm going to have to go back in here with uh, Snorlax because Charizard absolutely does not want to see that thing. Going for a Rock Blast, calling it, and going for the superpower here. Uh, this is getting a little close. There's a superpower, and they have another Rock and Electric type. That's a GG. That's a big GG. All right. Okay. Very interesting to see that combination when I pick this team. Into the next battle here, we're met with a Dragonite. Now, we're not using Pikachu anymore. I don't mind losing and having a little fun because it doesn't really matter anymore right now for the uh, end of the season. But uh, 
I wanted to showcase some fun battles. <laughs> so we'll take it off the team. Anyways, going to uh, shield that up. They're building up a lot of energy. You see, the thing about Dragonite is it can hit Dragon Claw before uh, Body Slam. And they're just building up energy. I don't know what the heck, but uh, it's perfectly fine with me. Um, using two shields, getting us out there with that Dragon Claw. So we're going to go ahead and go in here with Charizard and Dragon Breath down before they even know what hit them with that energy. And they're bringing in a Wigglytuff, which is going to resist our Dragon Breath. But we're going for Overheat. And then once we're going to do that, we're going to swap because, well, we don't want that lowered attack. Swapping and farming a little bit with the Venusaur. And they're like, what in the heck is going on here? And in comes Alolan Ninetales. And I'm going to go for that Sludge Bomb on that Shadow Venusaur and take the win, one-shotting it. Let's go into the next battle, folks. Let's see what we have going on here. We're met with a hip now. Beautiful. We love this so much. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stay in here, obviously, and go ahead and go with that body slam spam and do super effective lick damage. I mean, the only thing we technically have to really worry about is going to be focus blast. Calling it, they built up a lot of energy, maybe trying to make the illusion as if they were going for it, which is a good strategy, but we called their bluff. Going for another one. They didn't want to use a shield. Sounds good to me. Bringing in a wiggly tough and taking us out quick. Sounds fantastic. Going to go ahead and go in here with our uh, Venusaur. This is not great <laughs> because they have two shields. All right. We already know. We talked about this in the beginning. They tried to catch the, the um, Frenzy Plant, which they did successfully. That was a good catch. But here's the thing. We already discussed this. Venusaur fears f a few Pokemon and uh, it hits everything hard. So um, even though they caught it, it still did a lot and I was able to help us take the win with that Charizard there. Beautiful. Into the next battle here and we're met with a Wigglytuff. This, eh, 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 don't like this. Gotta get out of here. Swapping into Charizard. Um, they're gonna be going right into Lapras, which is okay, I guess. Um, I really don't wanna go for Overheat right away because of the dramatic attack drop. So let's go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw first. Please, please get a shield out of... All right, beautiful. Now, can we get to Overheat? Unfortunately not. I think I shield this up. Yeah, I, I try to want to go for it. But at this point, go for two Dragon Claw. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no point in going Overheat there. Yeah, just go there. And yeah, farm down. Let's go. Beautiful. It comes the Alola Marowak. We're going to go right for the Dragon Claw here in a great position. Ah, we're down a shield, but at least we're going to come back in here with Snorlax, which can handle that Alola Marowak, unless it has, you know, Fire Blast, sneaky Fire Blast. So we're going to obviously let this go through. It's just a Shadow Bone, beautiful. And we're going to be getting off this Body Slam because our Charge Moves don't do anything to Marowak. And we're going to go ahead and weaken that thing so we can come in here with Venusaur and put in some work and start taking it out. And remember, Venusaur, <laughs> the Frenzy Plant's still going to hurt Marowak, so I mean, it really can't run. It's going to do a lot of damage to us, uh, but Venusaur really is going to uh, chunk away. But it doesn't matter, they're taking us out, and at this point, I'm like, damn, I don't think I go with this. The Lick's just not going to be able to do enough. I think we've uh, been put in a corner. I take them out, I use the charge move, I'm like, eh, might as well fight on and not back out. They, they got me, but good game. Want to go to the very end, and uh, GG's. Nice, nice uh, place. Into the next battle here. Oh boy, we're met with... Uh, Yo, oh boy. Oh no. Um, they're Im immediately swapping out of that uh, Lola Ninetales into a Charm user Wigglytuff. Okay. Um, and we're in here with Venusaur. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Frenzy Plant. And they're letting it go through. It was very curious. Thought they were going to come in here and try to farm us down. And it looks like that's to some degree uh, maybe what they're trying to do here. Going to go for a Frenzy Plant. No need to go for a Sludge Bomb. Frenzy's still going to hurt it. Almost couldn't get to another one. Uh, we got a shield out of them, which is fine. We're going to go in here with Blastoise because if they do have, um, I don't know, Weather Ball is just not as resisted and say with the quick move. They go for Weather Ball, fantastic. If they had Dazzling Gleam, that will hurt. So we need to kind of be cautious of that. I do believe I shield this up. Psyshock, all right, still neutral, you know, would have hurt. But hey, they're swapping into another Charm user and I continue to farm. They're like, man, I'm out of here. My double Charm team doesn't work here. All right, into the next battle, folks. Let's see what we have. Starting off with Charizard. We're met, oh, we're met with a Raichu. Uh, you see this? Okay, all right, all right. I know I said I was gonna move away from it, but this is just so obvious. All right, anyways, met with a Raichu, so fine. What we have to do here, we have Fire Spin and, uh, is that Blast Burn? Are we using a different one here? Are we using the uh, original? Oh yeah, I think, oh yeah. So going for another Dragon Claw here, no need to go for Blast Burn. Um, bringing them down pretty low, they are loaded on energy. So what we're gonna do is go in here with the uh, 
Venusaur, they're going to be going for a wild charge, taking them out there. That wild charge still hurt a lot. Swapping into Mew, and then uh, they're going to be going into Blastoise or into a Lapras once I go into my Blastoise. And this is right after I TM to Way Skull Bash. This is right after I TM to Way Skull Bash. If I would have had it, this would have been a very beautiful matchup. Would have went for Skull Bash, did a ton of damage, raised our defense, and uh, they really couldn't have done nothing to us unless they had, uh, I don't know, Dragon Pulse or Skull Bash themselves. All right, there's our Skull Bash that we were just talking about. All right, so what we're going to do is farm down. This is getting a little risky. A little, little risky. Venusaur hits everything like a truck, and Mew is no exception, folks. Let's see. Can we pull this win off? Get to the Frenzy Plant, my frog. Come on. So shielding the Surf and getting to the Frenzy. This is going to KO the Mew. Let's go. Frenzy Plant Shadow. Oh, snap. All right, into the next battle here. We're going to be met with a Wigglytuff. Please tell me this is the Fire Spin Charizard. And it is. Beautiful. We don't have to go anywhere. And this is great. And we have Blast Burn. Beautiful. So we're using the three starters because I wanted to end the video like that. Using them because, you know. It's the original three. Let's get it. And they're amazing with their Community Day moves. So we're going to be shielding this play rough up and swapping. So keep that in mind. Doesn't seem like we're in the best position, but we are in a good position. And you're going to see how so severely I screw this battle up. But I still try to, I still try to make a comeback. Uh, so we have a lot, a lot of energy on our Charizard. Very low health. We have to be quick. Any quick move is going to take us out. We are holding our own up against this Snorlax here, getting both shields out of them. So we're not, we made it to the Frenzy Plant, but they're able to get to the Body Slam, which is fine. I'm not worried about that. We got both shields and we got their energy out of them, which was what I wanted to do. They're going to be swapping into their Wigglytuff instantly, and we're farming down in hopes that maybe they can take out our Charizard. That is not happening. We're not throwing that in. Shields are down, so a Blast Burn is going to be hitting something somewhere, somehow. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Hydro Cannon here. This Blastoise is really going to uh, pull us through this uh, battle here. And we have a Clefable. Watch this. This is where I screw up. I want to hit Skull Bash. <laughs> and I go down with all that energy. And I'm like, this freaking, this better KO. And it does. I'm like, all right, thank goodness. Really, really pushing my luck there, trying to show off by hitting a Skull Bash. Wow. Could have just went Hydro Cannon. Easy money. Anyways, into the next battle. We're met with a Polyrath. And um, the only way we can really technically lose this is if they have Hydro Pump. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, it's got Hydro Pump. It's got Hydro Pump. No way. So, uh, no, it doesn't. It's got Dynamic Punch. Because every Polyrath I ran into prior had Hydro Pump. So, Dynamic Punch does a lot. Yep, they're, you know, bypassing that Ice Punch. And they're taking us out. We're swapping into Blastoise and going to go ahead and farm down. And they back out for some reason. All right, good game. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. Take care, traders.